Hello there. <laughs> How are you? That's good. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yes, too long. It's been a very long time. And a lot of you aren't going to be happy with this video because it's still not a camping video. <laughs> but we wanted to give you uh, an update as to what has been going on. As um, a lot of you know, we bought a house, so we had to move and at the same time try to sell the other house. And every time we turn around, there's something else we have to deal with. So it's been um, just an overwhelming amount of stuff yeah. that we've been doing between packing, moving, unpacking, fixing uh, stuff, fixing things here and there. Um, There's so lots going on. It's been it's been exhausting. Um, plus, there's other things that are going on outside of all that that I want to get into details of, but. Um, uh, it's just basically, it's kept us very busy. Yeah. But uh, we wanted to... Boxes. <laughs> yeah, there's boxes over. This is the basement of the new house. If I step aside for a second, you'll boxes. see many, many of the boxes that we're, still, that we're still dealing with. So, yes, there's still much going on, but we figured... Uh, we should pop in and... Yeah, say hi at least. Give you a little update and... And of course, there's always, um, it's <laughs> always this. Which is also late from normal because we forgot to change our address when we moved um, for this. And so it went to the wrong house and then got returned and then had to get reshipped. And so, yeah, thanks Universal Yums for reshipping it yeah. to us. <laughs> so we got this in the mail yesterday. And so we're like, okay, we, we, we don't have a choice now. We got to just sit down, buckle down. Do something, put something out there, and um, and then I'll try and make him get some editing done too. It's, the weekends are full of stuff around here, and so after work, it's the same thing. You know, there's just there is there's very few moments of peace. Yeah. Right now, so uh, forgive us. I hope you'll be patient with us. Eventually, videos will get out there, especially this as we get in the next few weeks i can start getting things edited and put out there so but in the meantime we got ourselves a uh a yum box to deal with pause I, what you're not doing live you're gonna edit okay but well, why are you saying pause because you have a thing on your face yeah but you don't have to say pause it's not coming off what is it just like lick it and then it's like icing or something okay got it I don't want to, we didn't pause, because I don't want to edit this video. I just want to put it up. Oh, I thought you said you weren't doing it live. I'm but... not doing it live, Oops. but I don't want to edit it either, because well, I don't have to, I just got done telling all these people that I don't have time to edit anything. So I'm going to record it, I'm going to record it, but that means I have to take it into an editing program well. on my phone, trim out the middle well, all right, section. Well, now you all know he had frosting on his face. <laughs> I, apparently I had frosting on my face, but maybe I was saving it for later. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up with a lot more on my face after this. I don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> All right, get the slicey dicey. Got the slicey dicey. Right here. Okay. Trusty blue knife. Slice it open. Almost looks like it's been opened once. Hope that's not the case. It says it's from the land of smiles. <laughs> That was weird. Fruit gummy candy. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Hold on. Welcome to Thailand, people. We're going on an adventure. Oh, by the way, my mom opted out of this one. We did make the <laughs> offer to her. And she said, where is it from? We said Thailand. And she said no. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be doing uh, doing some Thailand. I don't know. I don't think I can do this one. And I don't think you're going to want to do this one. This was a, is a note from uh, Universal Yums, and it says, Hi, Shelly. We're sorry your original box was sent back to us. We've added some extras to make up for it. Aww. Enjoy. How fun. Oh, gosh, that was awfully nice. Thanks, Universal Yums. It wasn't Yums. even their fault it got sent back to them, so excellent. So what is this? It is a spicy pineapple gummy candy. That's what Tim was talking about. Yeah. 
but it's called a juicy C. Juicy C. <laughs> so well, that'll be interesting. Go ahead. There's a monkey with smoke coming Give out. It a try. But this is sweet. Where don't do is we it, want to do sweet is first? It sweet. It's spicy. It's fruit. It's spicy. Okay, we'll come back to it. There's some other stuff. So let's see what we got here. Oh, what, what one do you want to do first? Oh God, I'm afraid. This one I'm afraid I'm gonna spit out. What is that? Tempura seaweed. Chicken larb flavor. What the hell is larb? I don't know. The word larb is meant to describe... <laughs> the word larb is meant to describe a meat salad. Now, I'm going to be honest. On the, on the surface, a meat salad sounds pretty cool. In practice, I'm not so sure. A meat salad? What is that? Whereas the word yum describes a vegetable salad. That's not true. <laughs> Just so you know. Yum has never described a vegetable salad. I like veggie salad. Never yum. You never went, mm, yum, yummy, a salad. <laughs> well, when it's covered in cheese and ranch, I do. You've never said yum. You <laughs> might go, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I'll no, I've that. said yum. Not yum. Salad. She's lying to you. Yeah. Don't trust her. Don't trust her. She's shifty. So anyway, larb. All right, open it up. Let's eat it. Uh, there's some interesting suggestions on the back. Throw it in the garbage. Eat it with drinks. Okay. Mixed with noodles. Eat oh, it. like put that like in yeah, with in noodles. Yeah, in the noodles. Gotcha. Eat it as a snack. Or eat it everywhere. <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Mm, meat salad. So it sounds appetizing, right? That's what larb is. Made from finely chopped meat seasoned with fish sauce, lime juice, chili powder, shallots. Larb has become quite synonymous with Thai cuisine. I've never had Thai cuisine, by the way. I've never had Thai food, ever. Here you go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's like it's got skin on it. <laughs> Here. I think I'd rather eat the fresh pack that comes with it. It is made from wheat flour, seaweed, palm oil, tapioca starch, chicken larb powder. And a few other things. Anyway, oh, well, let's give it a go. Oh. Oh, it's God. Oh, God. Um. I wish I would have brought something to spit out into. It's not quite chicken in a biscuit. Oh. But it's, um. It's definitely savory. Probably won't eat another one of those. Oh, no. It's not killing me. It's no ashy plum. But it's not... Oh. It's not friendly to these taste buds. No, now not it's super stuck friendly. in my teeth. And now that's all I'm going to taste. Pretty much. <laughs> Here we have Snack Jack. Broad bean snack. <laughs> it's a broad bean. <laughs> Whatever a broad bean is. It's a white bean. It's a curry flavored broad bean snack. Oh, I don't know if I like curry. It looks like a little worm. I've I never had I curry. It's kind of sweet. It's not terrible, but I wouldn't eat it again. So it's got a little spice in the end. It's got, well, that's probably the curry. It's got broad bean, vegetable oil, gold pea, and potato granule. How many of you even knew that potato granule was a thing? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but that has potato granule in it. Ugh. And I guess as far as potato gra granule goes, and it's pretty good. <sighs> All right, what do we got next here? What is this? Oh, that looks like sweet. If, if food around here tasted like this stuff, I would lose a lot of weight. It's cultural <laughs> you have different palettes for different it is true different places in the world but i no i couldn't live here all right this one's gonna be fun oh it looks this like is, a hot dog no, these, jack and jill potato rings sweet chili sausage potato snack 
it opens awkwardly. Oh, well, that's weird. They're little tiny. They're like little, noodles. Tiny cut little in rings. Pieces. <laughs> Get another one in there. Hmm. Tastes sort of like a barbecue chip. That also has some spice in the end. Gets me in the throat as it goes down. As you can see, <coughs> it's got a sausage on the bag. <laughs> wiener. <laughs> it's got wiener. That's not bad. That's how worse. What else do they have here that's savory? No, this is gonna have to happen. There's a lot of fruity things in here. All right, we're gonna do this. We were warned about this. Oh. The neighbors warned us about this. Might as well get it, <coughs> get it over with. Take it right first. We're gonna get it over with. This is, where is it written in here? It's the, um, the big roll. Grilled seaweed. Here, how come you're taking stuff out and reading? Because you weren't doing things fast enough. Okay, hot and sour soup flavored seaweed roll. Mm. See the little cartoon man on the package? It's more than a cute icon. It's a drawing of Taike Noi's founder. Yeah, I can't read these words. <laughs> well, that's another reason why I was redoing the reading of it. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here, here we you go. go. Read that. Uh, Lit the Pat? Um, Pira di Japan? Okay, sure. She has no idea if I'm right or not, though. That's the thing. <laughs> that makes it easy. I can just make stuff up. All right, I'm going to try this. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing that one. No way. No how. <laughs> You have to. No. <laughs> no. You have to. No. That's the rule. No. <laughs> That's the rule, woman. <laughs> but this is so bad. I have nothing to spit out into. <laughs> Spicy garbage. Oh, gross. Ugh. Why does it all have to be spicy? It's Thailand. It's known for being spicy. Is it? Because yeah. I don't like spice. Oh, you would. Yeah, I won't make you eat this because it's spicy <laughs> and awful. <laughs> it made the backs of my eyes water, if that makes any sense. <laughs> all right, got to get rid of that. Ooh. We're going to move on to something. Let's do something good. This is coconut snack bites. <clears throat> Wait, before we do that, should we do this one that's also spicy? All right, get but it's pineapple. Out. I don't like pineapple. No, You'll I don't have like to eat spicy. it. There's a whole bunch of them here. I'll do one too. It will. Let's share it because it's a big thing. Look. I don't think we're gonna end up in a situation where you're gonna be like, "Oh man, there isn't another one of these juicy, sea spicy pineapple things." Pineapple. I'm not getting the spice. It tastes like pineapple candy. Well, Tim said it wasn't very spicy. He just said it tastes like pi like pineapple. Oh, I thought he said it was spicy. I don't. I thought he said the opposite. What say you, Tim? <laughs> What's not bad? It's just pineapple. I'm not sure if I'm not getting any spice. I mean, I still have. This is. You know, practicing a scorched earth policy within my mouth still. Mm. There's like a 2% spice to it, maybe. It says it's got oh. some chili powder on it. It's coming in. It's coming in now. I'll get a little bit. Well, I'm moving on. Okay. I'm moving on to coconut snack bites. 
This is vanilla flavored coconut snack bites, which have to be good. There's just no way around it. They have to be good. We have one thing to think for this delicious yum. Monkeys. One thing to think? To thank. Thank. One thing to thank is one monkeys. One thing to think. No, really. In Thailand, 99% of coconuts are picked and harvested by monkeys. Did you know that? I did not know that. That is good. Yeah, I would eat those. Yeah. You won't get to because you didn't try any of this. So that's all you get. Price you pay. No, no, you do. No, you won't. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. You get what you get. Mmm, sour. Let's try the sticky rice <clears throat> and mango with coconut cream thingies. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Touch it. Oh. <laughs> it's like a fish. It's like gelatinous in here. I'm not, maybe we should, I don't know how we're going to do this down here. You've learned about Thailand's fruit of the gods and their rice goddess, but what happens when you put these two sacred foods together? Presenting, drum roll please. You're not drum rolling. Oh, I'm, I'm opening up the goo. Thailand's most iconic dessert, mango sticky rice. Here it is. <laughs> it's, um. Guess I just take a bite of it? Yeah. It says to enjoy it to enjoy this treat like a true local, we recommend soaking the unopened pouch in hot water for five minutes or popping it in the microwave for fifteen seconds before chewing down. Well, we screwed that up already. <laughs> the look on your face kind of tells it all, doesn't it? It doesn't taste bad. Oh, just the texture is so that's, off. That's weird. It's just, <laughs> it doesn't taste bad, but just the idea of snacking on something with that consistency. Just imagine if you made tapioca with jello and mixed it together. You know what it kind of tastes like is a bread, or not tastes like, but feels like is a bread pudding. Like a wet, But Yeah, but softer cake. and with more of a granule. Yeah. It is very weird. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Put that back in the box. <laughs> oh. Did it splatter? <laughs> no, we're good. Didn't splatter. All right. Do you want to do one of these cookie things, or do you want to do... Do sour. Sour punk. That's the same thing. Yeah. So These are sour punk candy stick. Looks like, um, like those uh, sour licorice things. The palms. There, there's one for oh, you. Yeah. Oh, it smells like uh, mango. A little tough. They're a little tougher than I anticipated. Yep. Not that sour. <coughs> Just sweet. Really? <laughs> I guess I was wrong. They got my sour going. Oh. A little bit in there. These will be good when I need to have the sour stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
They're making my eyelids <laughs> sweat. Apparently a lot of their snacks are made by a company called Jack and Jill. Mm. Okay. Let's do... Do this one because I'm on the page. Oh, I'm on the page. making my mouth water. So mm -hmm. I guess there is a certain amount of sour. Yeah. Whew. <clears throat> okay, which Let's one? Let's do this one. This one. We're going to do the Cremo Chuckle Plus. <laughs> Crunchy um, cookies with this, caramel coconut. Whoa. This might make you want to move to Thailand. Honey. In your house, dessert might be optional, but in Thailand, it's required. In fact, dessert has a specific purpose after every meal to smooth and cool the palate after those zesty Thai dishes. Yeah, it's still not going to be enough to get me there as long as <clears> we keep making <throat> this stuff. Oh. It's a little cookie. A little cookie with chocolate in the middle. Mm hmm. Mmm. And mm. caramel. Mm. So it's crunchy cookies with caramel, coconut flavored, and chocolate. <laughs> it's literally, the, literally what it says. Crunchy cookies with caramel, coconut flavored, and chocolate. <laughs> they try. <laughs> it's good. <clears throat> I eat those. Mm -hmm. Put my second one away. I'm gonna eat my second one. Go ahead. It's good. Now we have. No, this one. Red this one. one. This is. I don't know what that's supposed to say. This is not. It's a chocolate covered wafer with caramel and crispy rice. Sounds delicious. But what is it called? Mm. It looks like Noah, but I'm sure those aren't English <clears throat> characters. Come on, open up. Thank you. There you go. Here I go. Mm, good. It's got little presents inside. Little what? Presents. The little layer of presents. It's like little chocolate. It's crispy rice. I wouldn't call that a present. No. The crispy rice is the top and the bottom. It's in the middle. These little chocolate pieces. No, I think it's the crispy rice. So now we're moving on to almond and chocolate coated wafer filled with chocolate cream. Wait, where did that one? Triboli Select. No, Tivoli. <clears throat> this one will need to be broken. Apparently, this is their version of Kit Kat. That's what it says. Mmm. More fancier than Kit Kat. It's alright. I like these better. Whoa! Whoa! Don't fall over. This one has crunchy almond bits in it. Mm-hmm. It's taking a little bit to enjoy. It's all right. All right. Are we on to the hard candies? Looks like it. <clears throat> all right. These are like sour candies. In fact, they say Zour Bomb, which I'm pretty sure, don't they have Zour here? I don't know which way this they is supposed to be here. written. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to, <clears throat> I honestly don't know which way is up on this. This way, because it says Hose English beast. stuff here. 
Quality product of Hose Beast, did you just say? I don't know what it says. What Heart it say? Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Heartbeat salty Hose lime beast. candy. Lime hard candy with salt. So like a like a margarita? I think so. It's in the shape of a heart. It is. Kind of tastes like soap. There's a little bit of lime in there. A little bit of salt. Yeah. <laughs> you crunched it. <clears throat> yeah, that salt is weird. Excuse me. That's the saltiest candy I've ever had. <laughs> mm. The salt went way past the sweet. Oh, I like salt, but that was like having a salt lick that might have had some lime juice dribble. <laughs> no, I think a salt lick that was once in the same state as lime. <laughs> That's the extent. <coughs> oh, man. This thing is, oh, is this what we're doing next? cola flavor. The Zour Bomb. Ba Zour Bomb Cola. Sour cola candy with sherbet powder filling. Pucker up. Okay. There's a little sourness in there. <laughs> it's gonna get me in that. It? <laughs> it's cola. It tastes like sour cola, which is weird. <laughs> Chance to touch your tongue. Put that back. <laughs> My mouth is already water. Pull it back. <laughs> it's the most sour thing I've ever. <laughs> oh my god! You need the unberries. question is, how do we get one of these into my mom's mouth? <laughs> well, how do we do that? Long. <laughs> we must find a way. Okay, that sour one away. I'm going to have to... I'm getting to the cola. Whew. I'm going to have to put this in a bag with like other hard candy. <laughs> so I'm saying, here, Mom, would you like a hard candy? Oh, well, man. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Oh, wow, that got me. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> well, that was it. That's the whole shebang. <laughs> Did you get to the powder center yet? I just chewed the heck out of that. Oh, you chewed bastard. it? I always chew them. You do. I don't have time to waste. I got things to do. You see all these boxes back there? <laughs> okay. What was these your are my best? <clears throat> Your, be your favorite was the Cremo Choco yeah. Plus? Yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm probably going to have to agree. Cremo Choco Plus were delish. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree and with that. And the Coconut Bites were the runner-up. This might be the runner-up for me. This might be the runner-up for me. These were close, but I think that's my edge. That's the now combo. I don't know how that's pronounced. But hopefully, I'm not offending some Thai people out there. Worst. Well, I didn't try that. But I'm guessing that would be my worst. <clears throat> but without having tried that, I'd say the salty lime candy was my worst. <laughs> but I'm going with that because I didn't even try it. I think they get it. <laughs> and what was your most unusual? Um, most unusual. 
honestly, I think I'm going to say, well, gosh, um, those things are pretty darn unusual. <laughs> these are pretty unusual. But then, honestly, so are these uh, Zauerbaum Cola, because it was sour cola, which is weird. Yeah. But I'm going to have to go with those. The high tempura, whatever it was. Yeah. Unusual. I'm not sure if those are the most unusual or the salty candy, because I've never had a salty candy before. <laughs> to me, that is very I, weird. Yeah, people, it might be weird to <clears throat> us. I don't know. People, when they have a margarita and they've got the salt around it, I don't know how much of the salt they get. I don't, I don't yeah, drink them, so I don't know. Yeah. So. But these these things definitely were a very odd. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Okay. But there was some good stuff. The sweet stuff. Yeah. The sweet stuff is usually good. And even these things weren't bad. These little sausage potato rings. <laughs> sausage potato I think Those are the things I believe that had the potato granules. Yeah. Um, so yeah. The sour mangoes, they were pretty good. Very, you know, I thought they were sour. He thought they were slightly sour. Nowhere near as sour as the no. sour bomb. No, definitely not, no. Anywhere near that. Yeah. And here's our extras. <clears throat> so that's good. We got extra sour bomb. Yeah, they gave us some extra stuff. <clears throat> now this is going in the trash. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Oh. I did forget. Oh. <laughs> that's right. Most unusual. unusual. Most unusual. Most unusual. <laughs> this. <laughs> the, the ricey the bag mango. Of, the bag of goo. Goop. <laughs> this was most unusual. That is absolutely 100% most unusual. <laughs> and what's bothering me most about it is that I'm probably going to eat the rest of it. <laughs> Even though you threw it on the floor. It's so weird, but <laughs> it, I'm, still, I'm sort of drawn towards it. Because it doesn't taste bad, but it's so weird. But it's ready to eat. <laughs> I'm not sure if eating is what it's ready for, but it's what's going to happen. Weird. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we'll get to more editing soon and get the last couple of camping videos out and then still have one more Australia so, yeah, video. Australia. So, anyway, I know that these videos aren't the favorites of some of you, but hey, tough. <laughs> and it's a video, so. <clears throat> I know so, some of them, I, some people out there actually really like these videos, yeah. so. Uh, it's a little something for everybody is, you know, the hope here, so. But in the meantime, we'll try to get busy. We have a lot to do here still. Um, but we didn't forget about you. Hopefully you haven't forgotten about us. Yeah. And we'll, we'll be in touch. We'll be back soon. Yeah. Until then. Be, Be good. good.